right there. Got um, I've got a bit of a semi-epic ride planned for today. Um, probably be about 30, 40 miles, well over a thousand meters of climbing. Taking a few different tracks, which I used to ride. Um, yeah, so it should be good fun. It's going to be maybe three, potentially four different spots I'm going to ride at. Quite a lot of road riding in between. I think my plan is to kind of ride out to the furthest spot on the road, meet up with my mate on the way there. I'll um, we'll ride out to the furthest spot and then kind of make our way back. Right way up here, right. So, nearly eight miles in, over 200 meters climbing so far. I've met up with my mate James, he's pulling away too fast. He said he was tired, but it doesn't look like it to me. Anyway, so still on the road section, I'd say probably halfway to the first venue, first location, and then uh out some new slash old trucks should be good as long as he doesn't power away too fast and ruin me So we just clicked over the 10 mile mark, kind of coming up the last ascent up to uh, the woods. James is still pulling the pace along a bit. 360 metres, we'll probably go up to probably another 100 before we get to the top. It's pretty good so far. Pace isn't too bad. Should be a good, good day out. Let's go. We're um, about to get run over. <laughs> We're like just nearing the top now. Just like the final kind of bit, I think. It's kind of in the woods, isn't a good view. So taking the view quickly before we get up there. Sun's kind of coming out, but it's not too bad today. That was very good. Very, very good. Yeah, John does. You. You're doing better than Big Al. <laughs> Got the boys up here <laughs> for some vlog life. There's the camp. There's the view. Motocross track. Marlborough. Shropshire, probably down there. 
Captain Thomas. And some pretty good trails in here. This is apparently the uphill downhill. Quite a bit. He's tight. Oh my god, oh shit, sorry. Oh my god, are you okay? Dan does his punching Tom to the floor. Give him a punt from the back. Oh, he's tight. Oh, that was a tight corner afterwards. Oh yeah, because that's the one I went on there. How are you feeling, Thomas? Um, sweaty. sweaty. Seasoned athlete. That's what happens when you've been furloughed for a couple of months. <laughs> Dad bod. <laughs> Looks like I'm first. I went wrong way as well. Tight left. Send her for the gram! <laughs> Into the bushes. wasn't the route. Tom it! <laughs> I literally got stuck with my leg like this. <laughs> I was like, I got that bit of a swap on. I did the same thing. Better than riding up the fire road, isn't it? Uh, riding through the bush. Do -do 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 -ding. You just hear people on the brake behind you. Like, I'll do your trick and stop at the next fire race. <laughs> Set.
That's good. See you later, Thomas. Me and Jander's going to move on to the next spot. Do some vlogging. What have we done? 23 and a half miles, nearly 1200 meters of climbing, and now we're moving on to kind of second spot for the day. To be honest, that wood that we've just been in, there's a whole lot more stuff in there than I was expecting. Just me and James left. I had to change my bottle out for a second one. Pretty big ride, I've been out for four and a half hours now. Got the Berwins in the background, the wood down here. Used to be some really good tracks in there. Chris Guevara actually went there once, believe it or not. We're going down to the other side of that woods. Yeah. Some pretty good numbers so far. Gotta make our way up to the top. I think there is a trail in here. Apparently this is the way. Kind of hit a dead end, don't know where I'm going. Looks like that way. Around that way maybe. Is this the right way? Yeah. Into the open. Uh, Foliage. Give me gears. Lovely jubbly. For the return lag, he went out too hard. Bonking, we'll make get him some more fuel in, and I'll make it to the end. Bit of talk.
not far now. Maybe I might. Can you like join in the race course on the way back or not? Or at least like top half of it or something. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Might do that. Lower down now. May as well we'll get past. We just clicked over 30 miles. 1,422 meters climbing on the return like now that like we said before. Maybe one more downhill. Because we may as well because we're on the way past. Got a little climb to get to the top of there now and then hopefully be about 15, 1600 meter climbing. And near enough 40 miles for me when I when I get home. It's been good so far. Let's see if we make it to the end. Pretty much the last bit of descending we're gonna do for the day. A couple of little trails in here. I haven't got much battery, so no time to waste chatting. Let's go. home just come up to 41 41 miles should hopefully just about click off 1700 meters on this climb back now um pretty epic ride I just did then um what was it nearly 43 miles um 1700 ish meters climbing I think I just clicked that at the end then um yeah awesome ride good to finally get out with some actual people to ride my bike again ride some awesome trails some stuff that i haven't run for a long time um had a had a blast in that first place that i ended up riding was um just full of like hidden gems everywhere can't believe there were so many trails in there now over five hours of actual riding time so um yeah big day in the legs um Hopefully get to do a few more of them and still got plenty of work clearing tracks out close to home and getting them done. So plenty more big rides on the cards, I think. But yeah, it was a great day out. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I'll try and upload a few more things a bit more often again now. Now that we're starting to be able to move around a bit easier and can get a bit more variation in what I'm filming and what I'm riding. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.